the sprawling city of Delhi, the capital of India, with a population of over 11 million people, with so much to see and do, is our venue for the second tournament of the 2024 HSBC BWF season on the World Tour. And here, the India Open 2024 at the KD Jadav Indoor Hall has provided plenty of entertainment. We are into the semi-final day here in action. And there's a lot to play for. Many players looking at this particular trophy, the World Tour Finals. It's a long way away at the end of the year, but I'm sure many of them have an eye on it. Bringing it in is the 16-year-old Bhavya Chabra, who is the top-ranked boys doubles under-19 player has been runner-up at the All India Junior Ranking Tournament last year. And I'm sure he too has aspirations of perhaps lifting that one for real one day in the future. So this is what we've got in store for you here on semi-final day, as we mentioned. Yeah, starting off with mixed doubles, Jiang Tsengbang and Wei Yashin, the fifth seeds from China, take on last week's Malaysia Open finalists, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na En. They are seven seeds from Korea. Then into the women's doubles, Li Wen Mei and Liu Xuan Xuan in an all Chinese affair are up against Zhang Xu Xian and Zhang Yu, the sixth seeds. Returning to mixed doubles, Ye Hong Wei and Li Chia Xin of Chinese Taipei uh, take on Dechapon Puavranapro and Sapsuri Taratanachai, the sixth seeds from Thailand, who perhaps have just turned a corner with things. Yeo Chia Min, well, interesting story of how she got into the semi finals. He's up against Tai Tzu Ying of Chinese Taipei, the fourth seed. That was going to be a really fascinating encounter. And then in the women's doubles, uh, Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara, the eighth seeds from Japan, are up against Bekhana and Lee Sohee, the second seeds from Korea. Plenty of really fascinating matches throughout the day. There are 10 in total. So just looking at the route to the finals here in the mixed doubles. As you can see there, all four semi-finalists come from different teams, which makes this really intriguing. So the action to get underway very shortly indeed here on the remaining court. We have for you, as is always the case on the Saturday, Everything will be played on court one from here on in. So the Chinese pair come through first, Zhang Tenbang. And Wei Yashin, the fifth seeds from China. It's going to be a, a really interesting match, this one. It can be uh, very well balanced. And now the Koreans are in next. Yeah, this one could be a, a really tight one to call. And you'll see why in just a short while. Both pairs have played almost the same number of matches as a pair. 80 wins and 21 losses for Jung and Wei. 61 wins and 32 losses for Kim and Jung. In time of 93 matches, Jung and Wei played 100 points. That's 80% win rate for the Chinese. That's incredible. They met only once before late Kim, last year. The French Open Black with actually orange. Jung and Wei winning that Black. very comfortably indeed. Black it is. You choose. Receive. receive. Who will receive? John to receive. Who will serve? Again here. Serve. Serve and side. My left. Thank you. Wasting no time at all. The Koreans quick to the warm up.
So we'll start with uh, Jiang Tenbang, who is 22, just over six foot tall, from Guilin, playing at his highest rankings. Man is uh, already come in leaps and bounds, these two, I should say. They are world champion bronze medalists last year, given that they only got together at the end of 2022, Asian champions as well. World Junior Champion winner in 2019. Wei Yashin is 23, 175 centimeters tall, so pretty tall as well. And already in their short career, they have together, they've won four titles. Indonesia Masters in 2022. Last year, they were on the reaching Roichang China Masters. That's a Super 100. The Swiss Open, that's a Super 300. And then the French Open, that's a Super 750. They were runners up at the Korea Open, the Arctic Open, and the Korea Masters. Uh, they have not dropped a game so far. All their matches have been around the half-hour mark. Look how impressive that is. But, uh, I think it could be quite a different matter here this afternoon. Kim Won-ho is 24. He's uh, the same height as Jung Jung Bang. Uh, from Suwon, currently sixth in the world. So it's fifth versus sixth here. He has been, in fact, fifth before, and that was in June of last year. Chong Nguyen is 23, 167 centimeters tall from the capital Seoul. The two of them Ready have won play. a couple of titles. Well, one title together, I should be uh, precise, the Thailand Open. Super 500. They've finished runners up three times at the Australian Open in 2022 and last year, the German Open and Malaysia Open. Uh, they have dropped games against Midorikawa and Saito, but a great result yesterday against Feng and Huang. What a match that one was. Superb comebacks from them. 84 minutes. And they looked dead and buried at one point. Turning by about eight points, but they just stuck to their task and showed fantastic resolve. Jesper Larsen is our Danish umpire for this one. And he'll be assisted by Gaurav Khanna, who is our umpire, sorry, our service judge from India. So two Tightly ranked, ladies and gentlemen, here, which is the on one my right, between them. Jong Na Ng and Kim Bon Ho, Korea. And on my left, Zhang Chen Bang and Wei Yasin, China. Wei Yasin to serve to Jong Na Ng. Love all. Play. And looking back at their results prior. Start to this match goes the way of the Koreans. One love. We reached the semi finals last year, so they're hoping to go at least one better here. Had to already go and get a racket. Uh, Jung. Hey. Two. Of that rally, which probably love. helped the point. That's uh, Gamble that didn't pay off. <laughs> Service over. There's a little bit of drift on this one, uh, two near side. But it has been uh, so far been regarded as the more preferred side by the players. 
service over. The conditions are Three, slow as well. One. So he's, uh, all these players got to take that into account with their styles. See if that doesn't suit them, they've got to be quick to adapt. Lee Chuk Yu is a fine example of someone who has indeed been able to do so with uh, great effect. Taking out Kunlava Vichitsan and Anthony Sinisuka Gintik. Service over. Two, three. This Chinese pair has not played at the India Open previously, so this is all very new, but they're coping admirably. Was a fine start from the Koreans. And that is almost getting wiped out here. Service over. Four, three. But they haven't lost or haven't let the ties take the. Uh, Chinese take the lead yet, have they? Oh. Power in those smashes. Service so over. Built man, Full packs a punch. Jump to bang. You just gotta look at that record, it's been uh, impressive. For a pair that I said it's not Service over. Well for that Five, long together, four. just towards the end of 2022, the Indonesian Masters was the first tournament they played in, which they won. Service over. Five. Oh. Super 100 in 2022, and then in 2023 they won the, they got to the final of the, the other Indonesian Masters, losing to Feng Yangtze and Huang Dongping in three, very close in the last. Service over. Six. Yeah, tightened up, five. isn't it? <laughs> At no point yet have the Chinese been able to take the lead in these early stages. That's not going to be a problem. <laughs> oh. while, Service over. Really Six. In, uh, finals. Oh. This Chinese pair, part from the Thailand Masters, where they were out in the first round to the, for the soon-to-be world champion, Tio Sun Jian Chai Yu Jung. But they got to the finals of the China Masters, which was the Super 100 version in Roi Chang. And the Swiss Open. Seven, six. And, Gosu Wat and Lai Shivon Jamie. They got to the quarterfinals of the Spain Masters and Olio Masters and Malaysia Masters. Thailand doesn't seem to be a the place they enjoy, they were out in the second round there, first round of the Singapore Open, second round of the Indonesia Open, final of the Korea Open. Oh. This is the World Champs, Eight. quarterfinals of the Australian Six. Open, second round of the Japan Open, opening round of the China Open, which was surprising perhaps. Losing to uh, Praveen Jordan and Malati Deva Octavianti. Lost in the final of the Arctic Open, second round of the Danish Open. Or Denmark Open. Oh. Won the French Open, got to the front more of the Korean Masters. Nine, six. Another quarter final in the Kumamoto Masters Japan. And you can just see the 
the pattern I'm talking about, that they really have gone deep in a lot of tournaments, in almost all of them, out in the quarters of the China Masters. So, meteoric rise, really, for this pair. Who have now surged in front. And then drop her in, over across the net. Okay. Seven, nine. Good defending. Couldn't quite finish it off, John Nutton. Good shot for Kim Wano. Excellent retrieval from Jiang. Just. Jiang Jiwei challenges. Call. Yeah, it's was given in. You know, There's a hesitation there for everyone concerned. So we're going to get a challenge here. Seemed a little odd. Service over. Ten seven. Four. Very good call on that challenge. Play. Eleven seven. Onto that like into flash. We are Shin. And we are into the interval of this first game with the Chinese. A slightly slow start, but have then surged ahead. They're 11 7 up. At the interval. <laughs> Eleven seven play. Now let's see how the, the Koreans now respond to this. They won't be too phased if you recall yesterday. How many times they came back? Service over. Nicely. Eight eleven. Having to dive that, Jansung Bunk. Eleven. Oh. 
service over. 12, nine. Maintaining that three-point lead. Important just to be within striking distance for Kim and Jong. There, the Koreans. <laughs> Delighted to see themselves on the screen. The fans. the net 10 12 it wouldn't go over You're just behind the head there we are shin well, the uh, crowd here seemingly behind the Koreans Yeah, it's been a good atmosphere here, I've got to say, the Katie Jardim Hall, it doesn't necessarily be a full house, but certainly the fans that are in here have made their presence felt. Again, fighting to get their way back to parity here, the Koreans. Reminded that only meeting ended in a very a pretty straightforward win for the Chinese pair at the French Open last year. 12 all. Good adjustment there from Zhang Zhang Bang. Just not able to get those Service over. Uh, lifts away 13, from uh, Wei Yashin. Need to have more depth on those. Maybe a bit more height as well. This one so far. Service over. 13 all. Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Eun have been together since uh, April of 2022, so slightly longer. Fourteen, well. thirteen. First started off, they were ranked 247th in less than two years. They've climbed into the top ten. In a remarkable ascent as well. Now they've gone back in front, the Koreans. It's been a while since that's happened. When they were 5-4 up was the last time they were in front. Service over. You could argue then that... Uh, fourteen... Oh. It's been 7-3 uh, in favour of the Koreans since the interval, so much better post-break for the Koreans. Oh. 
Yeah, the uh, thing you've 15, got to really, of course, uh, keep an eye out for is the cutting out those unforced errors. Those are cheap, cheap ones to give away to your opponent. Last week at Service the over. Malaysia 15. Open, they got all oh. the way to the final, didn't they? Kim Won Ho, Jong Nan losing to Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. 18 and 15. He beat uh, Dr. Wen Huang Ya Chong, the number one pairing. Well, of course, you could say, well, the conditions were very different there than they are here, much faster. So, it's uh, a great result to beat. One of the all-time great mixed doubles pairings. Too far away, scrambling to 15. get that. Only one way that was going to finish off. Service over. 16 all. Well, last year at uh, semi final level, Chinese pair played in eight of them and won seven. That is a truly impressive record for a relatively new pair. The only time they failed to do so, get through the semi finals, was at the World Championships. That's good. The placement was superb. 16. And Chinese back in front. Yeah, seven out of eight semi-finals is uh, a tremendous record. Let's compare that with the Koreans last year in uh, 2023. As they're now looking at a two-point deficit here. It's in stark contrast. They, too, got to a similar number of semi-finals. Seven, as opposed to the Chinese eight, but they only won two and lost five. In fact, they've lost their last... This is 2023, by the way, not uh, counting last week's Malaysia Open. They lost their last two, the French Open and Singapore Open. And they're losing 19, their way here. They're staring at a three-point deficit now. Chung and Wei. Just two away from wrapping up this first game. <laughs> oh, they managed to defend that well. Wei Yashin. Yeah, right between the two, Kim Won Ho. Service over. 17, complete lines. Two great winners from Kim Won Ho. Puts them right back 18, in it. They're still trailing by one, 19. though. You want to get as close to that 19 as you can. Once it gets to 20, game point, there's zero margin for error. And you leave yourself a tough, tough task. So this is pretty good here from the Koreans. Service over. Doesn't make it. 20. That's a game point. Really frustrating 18. for Kim Won Ho. And the serve. And well, well short. Two game points then for the Chinese pair. One saved. Service over. 19-20.
Two of the last points have been off the racket of Kim Won-ho, effectively. Nice little interception there for Wei Yashin, and that gives them the first game. One which was pretty tight all the way through. 21-19. And that was the so-called preferred end for Kim Won-ho jong -na. And let's see what happens in this second. For now, though, Jiang Wei have taken the first game. 21-19 against Kim Won-jong. You 這兩邊兩個底線出來,加加好對角線,不用退,防守之後也不用退,把它防好,防好衝好。啊,加個對角線平的球幹來來。First game won by Yang Chenbang and Wei Yang Xin, 21-19. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, level play. Tight first game goes the way of the Chinese pair. One luck. Yeah. Pair that, uh, as I said earlier, had uh, a truly remarkable 2023 and such a new young pair. They won seven of their eight semi finals last year. Service over. One all. Overall, that uh, service in over in their career. They have two, one. They were nine semi finals and won eight of them. That's something pretty special, you've got to say. Service over to all. Well, we started the year by getting to the semis of the Malaysia Open, losing to Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino in three. That pairing, of course, went on to beat John Nutton and uh, Service over Kim Won Ho three in the final. Two. Champions as well, Chung and Wei, Chiu Sung Jae and Che Yu Jung. They beat them in the quarters. Jong done well there. Service over. Just to come across and get that. He was Three. scrambling, wasn't he, Jong? Oh. This career pair generally has not had a good record at semi finals overall together. Three out of nine they've won. That's well, well played. Four. Three.
five, three. Six, three. Starting to uh, just pull ahead. Looks like uh, maybe that end has now become a bit more desirable. Going into the drift. Service over. Four, six. Kim to receive. As we've seen from the Chinese, even when they were trailing for little bits of that first game, they fought back uh, very, very quickly. Just didn't allow the uh, Koreans to settle. Again, the four is short. Service serve. over. Six, seven. In the previous game as well. Yeah, well, short. Hugely frustrating. I thought yesterday, as the match progressed, eight, six, and that semi-final against uh, Hong Yang Tzu and Wang Dongfei, she just got better and better. And she might be just going to to step up here. Really good smash. Can they finish this off? Oh Service dear. Over. Seven. And he stretched eight. his opponent there. Jiang. Came on Jiang. earlier Is with that, that smash. Please show where it is. Yeah. Looking at uh, the overall record Thank here. Semi finals against uh, Jong to receive Chinese players. Seven, eight. They've never beaten the Chinese pair before at the semi final stage. They've lost to this very pair, the French Open semis last year. They lost to Wang Liu, Wang Dong Ping at the India Open. Semi final stage last year. Service over. Nine, seven. That's well, that Kim Won Ho. Overall, they've played uh, Chinese players 11 times. The Koreans have won just four of those 11.
good retrieval there from Weyashin. This is probably one of the longest rallies we've had. Just a little long. Ten. The seven. Drift. Well, not quite the longest, 50 shots though. Chinese pair have only ever once played a Korean pair in the semi finals. This very pair, as we mentioned, at the French Open. So they have played uh, a number of Koreans and they've actually kind of struggled a little bit. It's a great dive from Jump. Service over. Eight, well, that was a superb ten. dive from Jung early in the rally that helped it keep keep it alive. Wait, wait, stepping Thanks. in there. This is it. It's a really good return, actually. Jung to receive. That was Jung who really made that point. There you go, full stretch that dive. Brilliant. Oh. So, so to the interval we go here on the second game interval. with the Koreans up by three. No, they are trailing by a game at the moment. <laughs> Jiang to receive. 11 8. Play. to further widen their lead for the Koreans as they go in search of the all-important uh, second game to win it. Team one it's going to be a challenge here. Goal out. Out quite well. Challenge oh, unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Nine twelve. Play. The Chinese looking to get on the Ten, comeback trail. 12. Kim Jong, don't look at the screen, it's delayed. Okay, focus on the game, play. <laughs> yeah, focus on this, guys. Nothing else, please. For the umpire's sake, don't look at the screen. Eleven. 12. 
They can understand where the uh, umpire is coming from. His job is to make sure this uh, this match moves along. Right now, the Koreans in a bit of trouble here. It's the uh, Chinese building up a little head of steam. Oh, the net playing a huge part in this, and Wei Yashin was on the ground, she couldn't over. recover. 13-11. Yeah, that is difficult, isn't it, when you're in that sort of position? And she did well there, but... you've effectively taken the one player out of the equation here. And because of that Thank you. lift that was played, yeah, easy one for Kim to put away. He's still in front here. Fourteen eleven. Service over, 12-14. This is still very tight, still up in the balance here. Thank you, back on court, Pyong. Five wins out of nine against Korean opposition overall. The Chinese cat service over yeah, lost their last couple. 15, 12. Only one win in their last uh, four. For the uh, Chinese pair. It was against this particular pair, but Koreans up by three, looking to force a third. Service over, 13-15. Oh, he's trying to intercept that, it's Kim Won Ho, it didn't work, the gamble. 14. 15. John was probably in a better position there. He's shaking his head. Only a point in it. Folks, exploiting that big, big space. All. To his left hand side there, Chiang. The uh, Chinese fans a bit happier now with the situation. And then the Indian fans getting behind the Koreans as we saw earlier. Getting in on the act. Well, Kim makes up for the uh, service over earlier interception mistake. 16 with that 15. Really well played shot right to the back of the court in the corner.
fault. Service over. 16 all. Yeah, these leads aren't lasting very long at the moment, are they? Oh, it's some trouble here, the Koreans, have they got out of it? I think they might have, for now. <laughs> well, they were kind of behind it the whole time. 16. The Koreans, the Chinese, were right on them. And they defended well. And there was only so much they could do. She's uh, pretty tall as well, Lee well, Yashin. Yeah, so right at the front of the court, yeah, got to do, got to put a fair bit of height on that to get it past her. Which is across around the head. Top of the tape there for Jungna, and it doesn't go over, and the Chinese are in front. Service over. 17 all. No one able just to get a firm grip here at the moment. Service over. 18 17. Chinese in front again. This is very similar to what we saw in the uh, last game. Throwing himself at it there, Jung again. Oh, he tries to do the same, Kim. 19. Oh, this 17. is brilliant from Jung. He just hurt himself there, Kim, or is it his racket that might be damaged? Look at that. Again, he's done it. And again, it's a pretty good shot. Not quite as good as the previous dive. I think it might have just taken. Jong by surprise with her return. That was very steep. Hard for Kim to dig that out. Retrieve. Jiang. Play. Really good dive from Jiang. And that's given them an all important two point cushion here. Yes. Service Kim over. Immediately makes amends. 18 19. This isn't over yet. Awkward shot Service for John. Uh, chopped away at it. There are two match, match points point here for the Chinese 18. pair. <laughs> oh, another Game. brilliant semi final performance. From Zhang Chenbang and Wei Yashin. It's their ninth semi final together out of 11 that they have won. A brilliant record for this relatively new pairing. They beat last week's finalists at the Malaysia Open. Wei Yashin, 21 19, 21 Do one better than last year where they also lost in semi finals. Kim Hono, Zhang Naan. And it's a Chinese pairing of Jun Chan Bang and Wei Yashin, the fifth seeds from China. They beat the seventh seed of Koreans, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na En, 21 19, 21 18. It's taken them just over 45 minutes to do so. Watch, 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 watch. So, an excellent performance here from the Chinese pairing who will advance to the semi final, to the final, excuse me, tomorrow. And they can sit back now and enjoy the other semi and see who their partners are. So, 
Women's doubles up next. Li Wenmeng and Liu Xuanxuan in an all Chinese affair take on Zhang Shuxian and Zheng Yu, the six seeds. So, this is the order of play here on court one on semi-final day here at the HSBC BWF India Open, the Super 750. Uh, we've had already the first match of the day, the mixed doubles. And uh, Chan Chan Fang and Wei Yashin winning that one in a fairly tight affair. Now for an all-Chinese women's doubles semi-final.